Hi folks, Adam McCauley, I'm in the tunnel at the King Power Stadium and I don't know what I've just seen. Um, we were absolutely cruising 3-1 up and somehow, someway, Leicester City have won 5-3. I'll go from the start, it was the same team that we played against QPR except Mata was dropped for Falcao who made his debut. And it was, it was, a, it was a decision that I was un, unhappy with, to be fair, because I thought Matu, who's got eight goals in 10 games, has been fantastic in that number 10 role, linking the play up between the midfielders and the attackers. So I was disappointed to see that from the start, but the way the game started, it didn't matter. Falcao picked out Rooney with a, Robin Van Persie, sorry, with a fantastic ball at the back post. He stuck it in for one nil. And then, and then Di Maria with a chip that was out of this world from a Rooney setup, two nil up, we were cruising. Leicester City got a goal straight back into it, but we still had the lead going into half-time. And we got a further goal through Herrera's cheeky flick after the break. It was 3-1 up and we were cruising. I did not expect Leicester to score. Never mind, get, get all three points. <laughs> Don't laugh, I'll cry right now. Um, but pff, they got a penalty. Raphael, he was barged outside the box. It was unfair in my position. It should have been a foul on him. And then he'd done an identical challenge on, on the player. On, on Varney, I think, and it was a penalty given against him. Whereas if the referee's giving that one, he has to give the decision before that. And it's not a penalty, it's a free kick to United. We're still 3-1 up and the attack's going the other way. Uh, we're clearing the ball. So that was disappointing. But from then, Cambi Asso got a goal from the edge of the box after deflection. The defence were too heavy footed, should have cleared the ball. We didn't. Um, and we just seemed to fall apart from there. Our, def our back four was all over the place. Blackett eventually got set up, sent off for the fifth goal. Um, and that was a fair penalty and a fair sending off. So can't really complain about that. But those defensive frailties we've spoke about, we thought Blind would help that in that he would be dropping back into the centre half area and helping them. We thought it would help. Maybe we could switch Rojo to the centre back and see if he can strengthen that up. But even he looks a little bit rash in his tackles and in his positional play. It's like Evra all over again in Rojo. After the highs of QPR, we've had some serious lows today. But there are a lot of positives to take from it. Our attacking football at times is absolutely fantastic. And if we can shore up that defence, Blackett can get more experience in him. And we can get Smalling, Evans, Jones, everyone back to fitness. We lost Evans again today. Um, so we really need to sort that out. Maybe bring Luke Shaw in. I'm, I need to call the police because there's been a robbery. Where are they? Anyway, make sure you get your comments in below. Subscribe to Full Time Devils. Who's my man of the match? Angal Di Maria for that chip. See you later.